What's up, YouTube? I wanted to show you guys my cheap and easy PVC disc rack that I made for uh, for disc storage. I have it up on this shelf here, um, but that's this is all my throwers, so mine's kind of small. You could easily expand this into a larger rack if you wanted to do, um, like, say, three tiers or as wide as you want, stuff like that. If you made it much wider, I would imagine that this PVC would start to sag um, a little bit more. So if you wanted to make it much wider, I would suggest probably putting in supports here in the middle. But as it stands now, I think they're just 24 inches um, uh, width for mine. I didn't really write out specs because it's kind of uh, whatever you want it to be kind of a situation. I'll just show you guys the fittings I use and the way they, they work. And you should be able to uh, figure it out from there how to make it the size that you need. Um, quite simple. So on the top, I just capped it off. Um, kind of unnecessary. I was gonna, you know, continue the whole design, you know, PVC this way, PVC bridging in between these two, but I realized I wasn't gonna put a second tier on it, because this is all my throwers and there's room for more. Um, so I just put caps on there. You don't even really need to, though. You could just leave them, you know, leave them open or, um, but if you use a hacksaw to cut your PVC like I did, it can be a little bit sharp, so can't hurt, I guess, throw the cap on there, but you could sand it. Obviously, you could put some duct tape on it. Not really uh, necessary, as I said. So if you're trying to be super cheap, uh, I spent like under 15 bucks for all the stuff I did. Um, so you need these four-way pieces with this little um, connector. The, the coupler will slide into there, and then it sends it out on a right angle. I'll show it to you on this other corner. It might be easier. Step around. There you go. So... You got this coupler going in here, which gives you the right angle to then bridge um, this section here. So that's pretty much all you need. Down here I put these three-way pieces as feet. Um, you could probably get away with that as well and just have the pipe sitting straight down. I just wanted to give it a little bit more of a solid footprint. Um, there's probably other ways you can go about doing that as well. Um, if I was worried about the uh, strength of this thing at any point, I would just basically duplicate this to send another piece at a right angle down to that way and connect the whole bottom together like the uh, like the shelf, I guess. Um, but as it stands now, the way I worked it out, I have a couple zip ties holding in here and this thing's not going anywhere. It's real sturdy. So that's pretty much it. Um, took this design from an instructable or perhaps a YouTube video uh, of a really cool disc rack dude shows you how to make. It's uh, much more detailed than this. This is more just like concept, throw it out there for you guys. But I'll link to that or uh, or perhaps annotate to it so you can go check it out. It's really cool, like three or four tier disc storage system. The dude's just got a ton of plastic on it. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, but this one is perfect for my needs. Like I said, I could add more throwers if I wanted to onto this rack. But uh, I probably won't really exceed this amount right here. I got a couple coming to me, but that's about it. Usually I lose them or trade them off to get new discs anyway so I shouldn't ever really have too many more than this I think this rack will work just fine for me so hopefully you guys like the video if you have any questions uh, about this project do you think I could help you out with specifics on on any of the pieces I can uh, I can definitely help you guys out with that so thanks for watching Cheers.